All right, how's it going, y'all? Today, we're going to be trying to answer a pretty tough question, and that is, should you be deploying TrueNAS Core anymore, or should you just go to scale? And we're going to be talking about this in two different lights, either buying directly from IX Systems, who kind of runs TrueNAS, and they have their own version that is enterprise, it's kind of all tuned, all ready to go, versus open source, which is the vast majority of the way people do it. You self-host it. Any x86 CPU pretty much is able to handle it and you can do that. And we're gonna be asking, should you be going core or scale when you are deploying a new system? And if you are currently on core, should you be switching to scale? I do wanna preface this by saying that these are all just my opinions. I've not interviewed anybody and really gone through and asked IX systems. This is mostly looking from the outside. And I think in reality, core is not the future of TrueNAS. I think that core is gonna be around for at least another five years. But I think core right now is just kind of, hey, keep it stable, make sure there's no major issues. But I don't see core getting future major updates because quite frankly, FreeBSD is tougher to support every single day. All right, so before we get started, we gotta cover what TrueNAS is and what TrueNAS core is and TrueNAS scale is. And TrueNAS is the named successor to FreeNAS. Literally, they just renamed it one update. And so when you see FreeNAS on a forum, you can pretty much just say that's an older version of TrueNAS. And it comes in now two flavors, Core and Scale. Core was the original one, and it was based off of an operating system called FreeBSD, which is essentially a cousin of Linux. So it works very similar. It's actually, FreeBSD is actually very similar to macOS's operating system, funny enough, but it is a less used operating system that is still very powerful. It is actually what PFSense runs, and it's got a lot of really great features that make it very, very, very stable. And it is a Unix-like operating system, and so there is a lot of compatibility between a Linux operating system and FreeBSD. Not, not complete, but there is a good amount of compatibility. It's not horrible to port code between the two of them. And therein lies TrueNAS Core's biggest problem. It is based on FreeBSD. And I know, I know there's a huge community of BSD people out there who really love it because it is really fast, it is really stable, and is really secure. But the problem is, it is free BSD and it is not Linux. And as time has gone on, quite frankly, Linux has won the open source Unix-like operating system race. Because if there's a driver that comes out that's gonna be for Unix-like systems, you can almost guarantee that the very first thing that that driver is going to be written for is a Linux-like system. All the testing, Linux. All of the compatibility, Linux. That is going to be the first priority for pretty much any driver manufacturer's setup. And then after that, if they've got some extra time, they'll go ahead and help the open source community and maybe push out a free BSD driver. And there is the problem. It's not just with drivers, it's also with things like Docker. It is things like great virtualization platforms. There are so many packages and setups that are optimized for Linux first because Linux is gaining popularity, whereas FreeBSD is not. And so TrueNAS Core and FreeNAS before it have all been based off of FreeBSD, which was really where ZFS kind of cut its teeth. And that's why it was there, is ZFS worked really, really, really great on FreeBSD. And so ZFS was this great feature that was available on FreeBSD systems. And then I think it was around like 2019, there's now a Linux version of ZFS and it gets more and more stable and brings over all those features. And then that's where IX system starts creating core and they're like, you know, we're gonna have scale. And so scale is now a Linux version of TrueNAS. And so that's what TrueNAS core is based on. TrueNAS core is based on FreeBSD a very long, stable software that does not necessarily have as much drivers and as other features as its cousin Linux. And so TrueNAS Core is essentially the same more or less operating system that FreeNAS has been. And so it's had a years and years of very stable setups that is really rock solid and steady. Then a few years ago, there was a new operating system that came out under TrueNAS, which was TrueNAS Scale. TrueNAS Scale, is basically TrueNAS, but now instead of running on FreeBSD, it runs on Linux. It does have a different UI and some different features, but more or less the same general settings 
and you can actually go directly from core to scale. And so this project happened in 2020 and has just been gaining more and more traction ever since. It has now been through a few major releases and with the 2310 release, I will say that it is very, very, very stable and there has been some massive improvements. So that is the new version, TrueNAS Scale. Though I wanna say right now, IX Systems is walking both of them forward and they actually share a lot of stuff because they spent a lot of time actually porting out the middleware to be essentially compatible on both systems. So they actually share a majority of their code between the two systems. And so it's not like it's a complete new operating system, but TrueNAS scale is essentially TrueNAS just on Linux. And what that brought were a lot of new fangled features. One, clustering, though I actually don't know if they're gonna keep walking clustering forward. I've seen some stuff on the forums that they are deprecating true command having clustering already. So clustering may not happen. We'll talk about that. I've not delved into it deeper. Another huge one was Docker support through either K8s or Docker itself. And so FreeBSD does have containers called jails and they were actually first. They beat Docker to market, but Docker was on Linux and Docker quite frankly won. And so Docker allows you to run so many different applications right on your system directly using Docker. So that was a huge feature that came out with TrueNAS Scale. And Linux also has a great virtualization layer called KVM that is incredibly stable and incredibly well built. And so TrueNAS Scale also has really great virtualization, though technically TrueNAS Core does as well with Beehive, though there's no comparison between the two. KVM is a far superior virtualization layer than Beehive is. It gets far more updates and is used in enterprise far more. While Core can do virtual machines, KVM can do so much more. And it also has things like GPU pass-through. But other than that, at least from feature sets, both TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale have essentially the same features when it comes to your standard NAS. Active Directory support, SMB shares, NFS shares, iSCSI, they both do it, they both do it essentially the same way. TrueNAS Scale does have SMB multi-channel support directly baked in. You can enable it on core, but it does have SMB multi-channel support baked right in, whereas core does not. But other than that, they're very, very, very similar. Right now, IX Systems has what would appear to be two competing products. They're not really products as much as open source operating systems, but they have almost identical feature sets by design. And for the longest time, for the past couple of years, Scale has been, well, in development. Yes, it's been released and it had stable releases, but those stable releases were not nearly as a stable release by TrueNAS Core. There's night and day difference between those two. If Core says it's pushing out a stable release, it's almost certainly a stable release. With Scale, you would have some weird things going on. Numerous times did I update Scale and had to revert back because there was something funky going on. And so a lot of that changed with the 2310 release of TrueNAS Scale, where it got really, really, really stable at that time. And if you actually look at it, it is now available as TrueNAS Enterprises version. So if you buy support from IX Systems and buy a package from them, they will now deploy a TrueNAS scale system. And these are the ones that they validate and that they are guaranteeing have X, Y, and Z stability. And so that should tell you that this has gone from being a community tool of like, hey, you can run VMs and Docker for home labbers to something much more than that. All right, so now that is your history lesson for the day. That is why we've ended up with a place where there are two nearly identical operating systems that TrueNAS has, TrueNAS Core and TrueNAS Scale. And let's talk about what's going to make sense for you to deploy today and talk about pros and cons of each. And we're gonna talk about it today. And I do wanna say, of my opinion, I think within about five years, we're not going to see any more TrueNAS Core updates or they will be security only, they will be legacy, it will be deprecated. I believe in the next five years, TrueNAS Core will be a, hey, we'll still support Windows 7 if you pay us thing that Microsoft does, where it's really going to be pushing everybody to scale. That is of my opinion. Obviously, I have no insider information. I just think that this is the reason why they have ramped up and created this whole new operating system, because I don't think it makes a ton of sense to support both of them in the next 10 years. All right, so now let's talk about where you should deploy today. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now, 
for the past two years, I have been running TrueNAS Scale. And that was actually something I did not want to do. I actually started off with TrueNAS Core with my current system, and I was really planning on running TrueNAS Core because especially two years ago, there was a huge performance difference. TrueNAS Core was gonna be way more rock solid, steady, stable. It's gonna be way faster. And it was really just way more supported. TrueNAS Scale was just heads in the clouds, a bunch of cool stuff going on, but nothing really rock solid steady. So if I was deploying a NAS for a business, you know I was going to be doing true NAS core. But the reason I didn't was there was a driver issue, as far as I can tell, with my cards. So with my HBAs that were server grade HBAs, there was a driver issue because of the SATA SSDs I put in. And on true NAS core, I was getting abysmal performance when writing to it. I'm talking 13 megabytes per second when I'm writing to 12 SSDs. I spent days debugging these. I manually edited driver configs. I did so much stuff. I installed every single firmware version of those HBAs I could get my hands on it. Always having the same issue. I spent days doing this and finally I go, well, let's just try it and scale. Instantaneously, every single performance issue I had went away. That was just because when somebody writes a driver, they are going to write a stable driver for Linux first, FreeBSD second. And I saw that. And these were even enterprise HBAs. So it's not like I was just throwing together some random stuff there. No, these were real enterprise HBAs and they were supported in Linux far better than they were supported in BSD. And so that's why I had to switch. I wanted to stay on core because core was more stable in terms of once it's set up, you know it's gonna be rock solid steady, you know all the updates are gonna go up flawlessly. But instead I had to go into scale. And so I've been running scale for two years now. And back before the 2310 update of TrueNAS scale, you would get better performance when running FreeBSD, TrueNAS core, than you would with TrueNAS scale when you're using SNMB or NFS, two major file systems. So fundamentally, there was just better performance on core until that 2310 update that came out about a few months ago. Ever since then, there were massive performance increases and the stability was just rock solid and steady in there. And that is where now my system is beating out that same system on FreeBSD with TrueNAS core. And so that's how I ended up on TrueNAS scale. And so what I would tell people now is as soon as you have any kind of driver issues, even if you are somebody who really wants to do core, do a quick boot switch over and try out scale. And if they're fixed, that'll tell you something. Because fundamentally, TrueNAS scale is going to have far more compatibility with far more CPUs, motherboards, NICs, HBAs, GPUs. TrueNAS scale is going to have far, far, far more hardware support than TrueNAS Core ever will, simply because of drivers and firmware. There's nothing Core can do about that. And that is why they had to switch, I think. So if you are somebody who is having trouble with drivers or something like that, you can immediately switch to scale and have a lot of your drivers fixed. But now let's say you've got great drivers and everything's working well, and you're currently on Core. The question is, do you need any of the features of scale? I do think that eventually Core will be going away, but Today, it is still a more stable operating system than TrueNAS Scale is. For people who are doing normal stuff with NFS, iSCSI, SMB, it is just rock solid steady. And so if you're looking for just straight stability and you're not having any driver issues, there's no reason to switch, at least not today. All right, so for people who are currently running core and are looking for stability ahead of everything else, you want something that is just going to be rock solid steady, no issues whatsoever, boring among everything else, and you're not having any driver issues, I think that core is still that. Core might be a little bit slower in some cases now against scale, but where core wins is if it's working, you can guarantee it's gonna keep working, rock solid steady, no surprises, because that's what core is. It is in maintenance mode. It is in, let's keep this thing going perfectly. And you will still get all the great updates and the rock solid stability of ZFS. So that is where core is the choice for you, is if you're really just looking for something rock solid steady, set and forget. So now let's talk about the people who wanna do more. 
Let's say you want to be able to have SMB multi-channel, run a virtual machine, run Docker containers. That's where scale is simply going to win out because not only do you have that rock solid driver support, you also have support for all those other apps and stuff. And you're getting things like SMB multi-channel natively built in. You're getting better performance in SMB and in some cases NFS as well. So there's so many things there that boom, you can do so much with scale, but it does come at a cost. A lot of the old forums and problems you're going to find only work for core. And so having to figure out issues on scale is not nearly as easy. You also do have a less stable operating system overall. Yes, 2310 made it very stable and was a great update and they do now have enterprise support, but it is still not the rock solid stability that TrueNAS Core is because that's what TrueNAS Core is designed to be. It's not getting any new changes, whereas Scale is having a ton of stuff going on under the hood that's rebuilding the frameworks. And with that, bugs are inevitable. So far, I've seen pretty negligible bugs on either system and the vast majority of them that were bugs were just UI bugs that were annoying. I have had to roll back for some cases, but thankfully TrueNAS makes that very easy to do. But if you're somebody who wants to be on the bleeding edge of stuff and wants to be able to do more with the NAS, I think scale is really for you. Let's also throw in anybody who's using like a 2.5 gig NIC, you know, getting those compatibilities on TrueNAS core took a very long time. Whereas scale, boom, you don't think twice about what NIC you throw in it because everything works with Linux just about. And so there's so many cases like that, where if you're throwing together your own system and you've not validated every single thing works well with BSD, it may be worth it to just go straight into scale because in my experience, you're going to have far fewer driver problems and everything tends to work with Linux for the most part overall. And so those are your two options. I think that there's a very high chance that we really stop seeing major updates from TrueNAS core in the next five years, just because I don't think they plan to support both operating systems going forward. I think once TrueNAS scale is rock solid steady and has many years under its belt, they're going to be just pulling everybody off of core into scale because I think there is a very, very, very strong use case for that. You'll also notice you can go from core to scale when you're changing operating systems, but you can't go from scale back down to core. I think that they are slowly merging everybody into scale. And personally, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be switching over more and more of my clients to scale because I think it is just going to be the future. And if you get a good update like 2310, you can kind of just set and forget it and expect everything to go very, very, very well, especially when it comes to modern features like SMB multi-channel and just overall driver support. Scale just makes stuff a lot easier to deploy. All right, well, that's going to be it for this. Go and leave your opinions down in the comments below. And if you want to hire me, there's a link for that down in the description below. All right, have a good one. Bye.